I can remember when we were first starting out on this planet. I was here from the very beginning of Lemuria until the fall. I can remember waiting for my family, knowing that we were choosing ascension and them not coming. The first time I felt abandonment. The first time I felt fear. And as I waited for them on top of this hill, the waves started to get taller and taller. And before I knew it, I was being taken under by the waves taken under by the undertow and I can remember hearing do you want to become a mermaid or do you want to ascend and I said ascension and I went through the water and I can remember a part of me stayed here on this planet as I returned back to the spirit realm with God watching over all of our children. My daughter in this life, she remembers that time. She can remember her first father. And she wanted to go experience food. And he went after her. So she chose to go to Atlantis. And I don't know about what they experienced there because I didn't I didn't come in Atlantis I waited I waited for them to fall as well as we knew that they would there was something different about us then we were so innocent and defenseless that we allowed for predators to take over our land, take over our people, to victimize us. We didn't know anything other than living in love and sacred harmony Back when we first began in Lumeria, everything, everything used to sing. Everything was dancing in a harmonious frequency. As we started to fall in density, fall in consciousness. Other tones or vibrations started entering into our planet. From what I can remember, it, it felt very much like another species had blown up their planet from their warring and fighting nature, but also in just their constant fixation and desire to to create things outside of themselves, always searching for something outside of themselves. The Lumerian consciousness was about unity with all things, harmony, oneness. But this species came in and they did not respect us. They did not respect our people or our land. They started to build things that were not in alignment with the earth. There were so many things that we allowed to take place because we didn't know any better. Because we didn't know how to say no. And this led over time to our fall. And then I can remember 
coming back when we first started out in ancient Egypt. And when we first started out in ancient Egypt, I can remember using some of the the structures that was left over from Atlantis and using sound to create healing from the the tribes that were coming that had survived and that had suffered severe amount of trauma from the fall and we created this beautiful integration of Lumeria and Atlantis by creating the pyramids and so many healing sacred temples and I can remember choosing ascension in that lifetime when when the fighting and the warring got too much even my own son was warring against his own uncle and then coming back at the fall of ancient Egypt as queen cleopatra by this time everything had changed everything on the planet had just become this warring nature it was a killer be killed time and you can think what you want to think about my actions and decisions in that lifetime but i assure you i was not ruthless or out for power there was a reason why my father put me in charge as my my sister and brothers they had that that venom within them that desire for power over others i feel this this trait or this ego has infiltrated all of humanity and as we have lived multiple lifetimes we are learning how to integrate all of these different species that have come to inhabit this planet but we've taken a species that had no ego and a species that was only ego one very feminine one very masculine and we've come to this place of integration where now it is a conscious choice on which voice we choose to listen to So I was here for the fall of Egypt and then I came back to walk with Jesus. And that was the beginning beginning of Christ consciousness. A plan for salvation to teach this consciousness to all. so that there no longer needed to be a division and now we are we are here again and i can see that the entire planet it is very confused it is very confused on which which way is right where we want to go from here and i understand and i have compassion for how it has felt at this level of density i know that it is felt like the only way to keep yourself safe is to fight against but i assure you that continuing to fight against will only cause more wars Now is the time for us to collectively join as one unified field of consciousness 
determined to love the hell out of this world, understanding that there is nothing that is outside of you. It is all part of you. When you feel resistance to push things away from you, it is because you have guilt. Because in some other lifetime, or even in this one, you co-created the exact thing that you are afraid of or that you are pushing away. And so, there may be times when you are calling to rage a war against your brothers and sisters and you will see me standing in front of you, asking you to put your weapons down, reminding you of who you are. This is not our nature to fight. This is not our nature to hate. This is not our nature to separate, to need, to compete, to fear. None of these things are natural to us. That is why it creates such a disharmonic frequency within our field, within our embodiment. And everything is frequency. No matter if you're speaking or not, you are vibrating. You are singing your soul song. And this magnetically attracts all of your experiences. And so it matters how you feel inside. It matters that we all come to a level of peace and safety, remembering the truth of our divinity, feeling the love, feeling the love of the Divine Mother that is always present and available to each and every one of you. Calling upon her assistance when you feel afraid. Remembering that from this level of density and distortion and perception of separation, we have thought that we were alone here on this planet. This is simply an illusion. And as we turn the lights back on and you lift the veil of ego illusions off, you will see and know the truth. And it will feel like this is just some mad, silly dream that we all have been perpetuating together. Because isn't it funny that we can be a species that is one, yet pretending to be separated, to be frail, fragile human beings? I assure you, this is just a temporary experience, a passing moment. You are an eternal being. Do not get fooled by the illusions. Instead, choose to come back home. When you feel afraid, Reach out for assistance. Feel the support. And join me in awakening yourself, activating the remembrance of the truth of your divinity, and sharing that love with all that lives. This is Kendra, the Divine Mother. You guys can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com.